are as good as new. Now it's time for me to take a rest. Oh, I see. You want to have a rest too. Okay, come on. Let's go to the living room. Whoa, whoa. Who's playing with the hologram? Hmm, I should have known it's you two again. Tell you what, if you really want to see something educational, I'll put this on for you. It's my favorite CD. It's called My Journal by Farah. <laughs> everything in her journal, doesn't she? My parents took my brother and me to the beach today. It was a beautiful day. We left early. We did not want to miss the high tide. Dad said that if we missed the high tide, we would have to walk very far to the water. High tide is important for boats or ships. Dad drove along the road beside the beach searching for the best spot for a picnic. I saw many pine trees and coconut trees. I saw many boats too. There were also people swimming and playing games in the water. Some of them used floats to help them float in the water. The waves were rolling towards the shore. We had fun swimming. The seawater was very salty. I accidentally swallowed seawater many times. You know what? We can go to the beach too. A virtual beach. Journal. Something funny happened while we were eating our nasi lemak on the beach. A coconut suddenly fell right beside Dad. We were all startled. I wonder why a coconut falls down to the ground. Why doesn't it go up? I also wonder why the sea has tides. Good night. Why? I don't know why. Sometimes people like to sleep with their journals. It rained heavily on my way to the netball practice this morning. By the time I reached school, the thunder and lightning had stopped. The school field was all wet and muddy. I was hoping that we could play netball in the mud. It would have been fun, but the coach cancelled the practice anyway. The reason was that the field was too muddy. I was very disappointed. What? Well... I always get hungry when I look at rain. On my way home, I saw a beautiful rainbow. It looked so magical. It took away my frustration. 
My teacher told me that a rainbow has seven colors. The colors of the rainbow are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and purple. I saw that the seven colors were bright and clear. I often wonder how a rainbow is formed and where it comes from. Is there really a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? I had homework today. Okay, for today we are going to experiment My science teacher, Juan Rohani, gave us some seeds. We were told to put them on wet cotton. We were reminded to make sure that the cotton was wet all the time. We were also told to watch the changes every day for five days. Mom helped me get a clear container to place the seeds in so that I could see the changes. I can't wait to see the results. Good night. I've done that before. It's fun. <laughs> happened to me today. My mom told me that it happened while I was in school. My cat, Chomil, gave birth to five cute little kittens. I saw them today. Chomil was nursing her kittens. The kittens' eyes were still closed. They cried all the time. I wanted to feed them with cat food, but mom stopped me. She told me that the kittens could only take their mother's milk. Why is it so, Journal? That's all for today. I want to have a look at my kittens now. Bye! Jeez, I've always wanted a cat. But then, I got you guys. I'm sorry I didn't write yesterday. There was an earthquake in Iran today. I saw it on television. It was terrible. The earthquake caused a lot of damage. Many buildings were damaged. There was a lot of dust everywhere. Many people died. I felt so sad. It polluted the air. I hope we won't ever have earthquakes here in Malaysia. Yes, we're lucky because there aren't any earthquakes in Malaysia. Oh, that. That's the same dinosaur that was jumping around our kitchen yesterday. Our five days were up. Puan Rohani asked me what happened to the seeds she gave us. I showed my little plants to her. I told her what I had observed. The seeds had absorbed water and had germinated. Little roots came out first and then the leaves grew. The plants then grew bigger and taller. Juan Rohani explained to us that all living things grow. Before Juan Rohani left our class, she asked us to think about our ambition and what we want to be when we grow up. What do I want to be? My job would surely be something to do with science. Oh yes, I have asked Juan Rohani about the rainbow, the tide, the falling coconut, the kittens, and the earthquake. How and why do they happen? Juan Rohani told me that they are all natural phenomena and can be explained through science. Good night, dear journal. I am going to sleep and dream about my ambition. never dreamed about an ambition before? Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't I build a prototype that would be able to choose the dream that I want? Yes, of course I go to sleep sometimes.
What were the natural phenomena Farah saw around her that are related to science? How do they happen? You have seen a few natural phenomena that Farah experienced. Let's take a closer look at these phenomena to see how they occur. Rainfall, clouds and floods are part of the water cycle. The water cycle is very important. This is the way nature works to provide all living things on earth with a continuous supply of water. In the heat of the sun, the water around us evaporates. It becomes water vapor and rises into the air. The water vapor cools and condenses into tiny droplets of water to form clouds. When more water vapor condenses, the water droplets group together to form larger drops. When these drops become large enough, they fall to the earth as rain. Some of the rain water seeps into the ground, but most of it returns to the seas and oceans. When the water evaporates, the whole cycle starts again. During a thunderstorm, lightning and thunder are produced at the same time. This happens when two clouds hit against each other. However, light travels faster than sound. So, we see lightning before we hear thunder. When the rain has stopped, the sun comes out again. As it shines, sunlight falls onto the rain droplets in the air. The colors of light split to form a rainbow. There are seven colors in a rainbow. Another natural phenomenon is gravity. Gravity is the force that causes objects to fall to the ground. That is why all objects around us do not float. When we jump, our bodies do not float. Instead, we fall back to the ground. This is because of the pull of the force of gravity. So, all objects, whether they are heavy or light, will fall to the ground unless they are supported or held in some way. And that is why coconuts fall down and not up. Growth is also a natural phenomenon. Living things undergo many changes as they grow. They become bigger, heavier, and taller or longer. You and I become bigger and taller as we grow. Trees and plants also undergo such changes as they grow. They become taller, bigger, and heavier. Farah's newborn kittens will become bigger and heavier as they grow up. Earthquakes happen when the layers in the Earth's crust move and change position. This will cause the ground to shake. The shaking may last a few seconds or minutes. Some earthquakes are strong enough to make buildings and roads collapse. Sometimes people die in earthquakes. You have watched a few examples of natural phenomena. We can use science to explain them. People have always tried to use the knowledge of science to benefit mankind. With scientific knowledge, we are able to design and invent tools and machines. This is what we call technology. The inventions may range from a tool as simple as a knife or a toothbrush to complex inventions like a rocket or a satellite. Technology has played a very important part in the development of agriculture, communication, transportation, healthcare, and education. Electricity is one of the most important inventions of science. A lot of the tools and machines that we use at home depend on electricity. Without electricity, our nights would be dark and cold. Just imagine life without electricity. We now live in the era of technology and communication. We do not use pigeons to send messages anymore. In fact, communication is becoming paperless. With the development of information technology, communication via the internet makes our world a smaller place. 
transportation has developed very rapidly. Our forefathers traveled in bullock carts, boats, and steam locomotives. Nowadays, we travel by electric trains like the LRT and the commuters. People have even traveled to space, in space shuttles and rockets. Technology has played a very important part in the development of agriculture. Agriculture has developed so much that machines do almost all the work on farms. In short, science and technology is everywhere in today's modern society. It can be found in houses, in factories, in hospitals, on farms, and in schools. We also need science and technology for leisure and entertainment. Can you imagine what your life would be like without science? Life would be terrible! Oh no! No science! <laughs> What do you see when sunlight falls on the raindrops? You see colors glow bright, bright colors of the rainbow. What do you see when you throw things up in the air? They will all fall down. Fall down back to the ground Do you know It changes to the rain that falls It falls to the ground And into our lives What do you see When you water your plants in the sun? The plants will grow Stronger and taller Now that you know That all these things happen around you They are natural things Only Mother Nature can do Do you know The nature can really do Isn't that great? Why don't we watch Farah's video again? Hey! Hey, you guys! Come on! Hey, let's watch it again! La 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 la